That was a very good idea that you had. That was fantastic. Jim Kudo is one of the nicest guys you'd ever want to meet. He's a former Cleveland police officer. But more important to him, he's grandpa to 11-year-old Courtney, and he couldn't hear what she was saying. I just could not hear her. And uh, I was always saying, Courtney, honey, I can't hear you. Could you repeat that? And it just got frustrating for me. Uh, I couldn't hear. He couldn't hear his wife, Linda, either, which was difficult for her, as well as the rest of the family. Some of it, uh, I would think, it would be selective hearing, and I figure he just was ignoring me. <laughs> you know? And some of it, I really knew that he just wasn't hearing it, you know. So it got frustrating. It would cause, you know, rift between us sometimes. For a long time, Jim says he wasn't ready for hearing aids, but decided to get them when he and Courtney played school. He wasn't hearing me well, so he would keep asking me, what did you say? But now uh, he can hear me with his hearing aids, so it's a lot better. Okay, Mr. Kudo, what I'm going to do is put these little plugs into your ears for the hearing test. He had come to audiologist Stephanie Rosenblum, who discovered he had high-frequency hearing loss. Say the word toe. Toe. With high-frequency hearing loss, some of the things that you can't hear are a lot of the really important speech sounds. S, T, C, H, S, H. And those are all the really important sounds that give meaning to words. All right, Mr. Kudo, um, based on what you've told me about your different listening environments, this is the hearing aid that I would recommend for you. It's called the Siemens Life. The Siemens Life instrument is the best for Mr. Kudo based on not only his hearing test results, but his different listening environments that he's involved in on a daily basis. But he's young and very active and very social. And so by choosing the Life product, we're able to keep him in all of those variety of different listening environments and not have to miss any part of the conversation that's being said. I don't think about him. I really don't. Every now and then I will be doing this just to make sure that they're there. That's how light they are. Before I had the hearing aids, uh, talking on the phone was uh, always a, a task for me because I couldn't hear there. If, if you had a thing on the phone where you could make the phone louder, I always had to make it the loudest it could be. Now, I don't need that. Yeah, this is Jim. I'd like to leave a message for Ellie. As a matter of fact, things are turned down. I can hear her fantastic. Mr. Kudo is doing great. He, he says over and over again how much he absolutely loves his hearing aids and how much they've changed his life. And it's been an emotional experience for both of us, and it's, it's been very, very rewarding. I think it's great. Um, again, like I say, she's my little teacher. I love her very much, and uh, I did it. I got the hearing aids basically because of her. It's great. He's responding more, and uh, he can hear me now. So it's a lot easier.